time and back today and I'm, I'm doing more test loads for this four and three quarter inch uh, micro gas system AR-15 that I've got built. Um, this time I've, I've moved over to a Warner D 75 grain bucktail hollow point bullet and I've got five loads here with uh, H4198 and two different powder charges. Uh, one's the minimum and one is a I think it's a half grain below what the minimum showed. Uh, the second group is a minimum load with IMR XBR8208 and I've got the minimum load again and a half grain below minimum load. And I'm going to run these on target at 25 yards just to see how they group. Uh, I expect these to group pretty good. I mean, the 75 grain bullet, it's a 5 R twist on the rifling. Um, not loaded backwards or anything like the 90 grains were. Uh, so we should be able to get a pretty good group. I actually got away from the house today and did not get my chronograph. So I was going to chronograph these as well. Um, I may do two or three with each one of this set and then save one or two to do the chronograph with later. Okay, and I'm trying this today with my AirPods in. Just trying to get the sound quality a little bit better. I know with all the shooting in the background and the wind whipping through, when it hits the mic on the camera, it, it cuts the volume on the mic. And a lot of times if I'm talking, my voice volume goes really low. So I'm hoping that regardless of how far I am from the camera now with these uh, AirPods in, that I'll, uh, I'll get better sound in the recording. Uh, I just have to take these in and out. do have noise cancelling on them. I actually may try a couple shots and see if the noise cancelling actually works very well. This may be the way to go if the noise cancelling actually works. Alright. how well that did. I'm going to try one more shot. And then I may end up changing over to my real earplugs. Actually, it's a little bit better after I seated them in a little bit deeper. Okay, so I shot three rounds with the uh, 22 and a half grains of H4198, <clears throat> which is a shorter um, rod powder. It's a, a faster burning powder than what I had used previously with these. And I have three cases here. These all landed literally right in front of the bench, uh, about more than a foot in front of the bench. And maybe because the, the rod powder is a bigger piece, I didn't get any marking on the cases back into the chamber. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm getting a complete powder burn, but it just means that the particles of powder are probably expelling completely out of the barrel, uh, or they're a little bit heavier, maybe and have more inertia as they leave the case. So that does accomplish the one goal I had, and that's to, to quit getting my brass marked up by the unburned powder. Uh, down on target, um, looks like about a, an inch group, uh, almost a perfect one inch triangle uh, at 25 yards. So that's going to open up to four inches at 100, but that is with a red dot. So once I get a load established for this, uh, I will take this back and put a scope on it uh, so I can actually get a really good pattern at 100 yards uh, just to see what the barrel's doing. So. Always the brass iron. These are uh, three or four cents a piece now, and uh, I sell them occasionally, but more than anything, I don't ever want to have to buy these, so I pick these up. Okay, this is the second loading for the, uh, the H4198. This is one half grain less than the previous three.
this one case. Actually still on the bench. The other two are both right here behind this post. So once again, you know, no powder marking on the outside of the case. bullet and even at that these these CCI primers are soft enough that they have flattened out a little bit Got some extractor marks on here uh, so this is a magnum primer and I did put a heavy crimp on these so uh, that may be increasing the pressure just a little bit which might not be a bad thing I'll uh, I'll probably load up a batch and not put the crimp in. I keep the primer uh, as a magnum because I want to get that hotter spark coming in there to make sure I get a good good start and burn on that powder, but I'll probably back the crimp off on these later. Okay, so this next set, I'm changing powders to uh, IMR's XBR8208. Starting load on that is 20.0. So I'm going to shoot those first. And again, I'm going to do three of these. And then the second set of these is 19.5 grains. It's one half grain lower. Very promising on target. Looks like I've got maybe a half inch group or smaller. Um, that is very interesting. That's the best results I've seen so far as far as grouping goes. Brass for those is all back here in a pile. pressure signs, no extractor marks, and other than the ding where it's hitting the shell deflector, no unburned powder marks on the case. So, I'm pretty excited about this, guys. This is kind of what I'm looking for, and the group out there is just, yeah, I like this one. So, I've got three more of these with a half grain lower charge. I'll run them next. Best part. Let's go down here and look at these groups. So this was the first group with the 4198, 22 and a half grains. This is the second group with 22 grains. And I was aiming at these target dots respectively. Then I came over here with the uh, XBR 8208. This is the first three shots at 20 grains, and this was the second two shots at 19 and a half grains. So both of those are really good groups. That is, I'm gonna call that just a tad over a quarter inch. So we're at 25 yards. If we, if we multiply that uh, at, at a quarter inch spread all the way through, then we're going to be at a half at 50 and we'll be right at one inch at 100 yards. So this barrel's advertised 
for two inches at 100 yards. It appears with that particular load there and possibly that one if, if we count that as a flyer. Uh, this combination of the Hornady 75 grain bolt tail hollow point with the uh, XBR powder is going to give me well under the advertised groups for that barrel from CAC Industries. So really excited about that. You can probably hear me a while ago when I, when I saw where those groups were landing. So, All right, guys, here come the proof picks. Matt from Kentucky Range Time. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.